yes everyone wagwan i'm here again 24 hour kitchen thank you very much and welcome to the channel everybody if you're here for the first time big up yourself if you've been here from throughout the, the other episodes and you've come in halfway on the journey also big up yourself today i've got a special guest today on the program people today yeah so big up bushcraft <laughs> yeah hey it's been good it's been good fun you know cooking uh, we've been out on the bikes yeah it's been good fun and james we made pizza today innit we did we did second pizza got so, another two to go look at this people you can't get any fresher than this you know what time it is big up james himself yeah bushcraft you know what time it is people yeah so i'm just gonna pick out a radish yeah man a good vibes look at that look at that the, the man himself hey <laughs> so yeah we're here and it's a radish hey, moment please. Just gonna give it a little rinse. Yeah, these radishes taste really nice. It's got like a little bit of, a bit of heat to it. A bit of heat at the end. Yeah, yeah. A bit juicy as well. And what we've got here? Peas. These are peas. They're peas. This is cucumber. This is leftovers. This is spinach. Here you go. Have a go on that. Got some fresh spinach, people. Fresh spinach. Yeah. yeah. I, I always throw this just in. I throw it in anything. Over here, got some onions. Onions with quite a lot of weed amongst them, so I need to do a bit of weeding. Yeah. So there's about 150 onions right there, red and white onions. Good vibes. Yeah. Put some big ones at the back. Those, that's, that's nothing, that's nothing. Okay. And here there's potatoes left over from last year, they just keep coming through. I need to dig them up and um, re sow seed a few potatoes. And um, James, I always grew up seeing these. Yeah, and they just, they don't get too bigger than what they are now. And if you squash sit on them, well, they, they, they dye your fingers. Yeah, but um, is it, can they consume them? No, useless. They're just this is for the birds, cat. for the, the birds, isn't it? Just like for bird the birds, birds, yeah, I don't know. Like, humans stay away from these. All right. Is there a name for them? I don't know what the name is. And the apple tree here? Yeah, so apple tree. That's one apple tree, and this is another apple tree. And then there's another apple tree down here. Wow, look, people. Can you can you guess what? Wait, let me let me find. So we're quite early in the year. Can we find? Okay, can you guess what this is? What tree is this? Pear tree. Pear tree. Yeah. Oh, wicked. So this produces really nice pears. These two trees. Yeah. Then I've got another apple tree here. These produce red red apples. So we've got some red apples there. Got normal apples there. And this is where got some chickens. Look at this, people. Real life, you know, and we're outside. So, yeah, we've got the chickens out today. Yeah. Any, 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 any names? Uh, yeah, one, like Camilla, my missus. Yes. She's called hers Fiona. Fiona. And mine's called Nugget. Nugget. Yeah, chicken nugget. Where's Nugget? Uh, it's this one. This, okay. The more short tail, yeah? Alright, people. It's Nugget. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring of Vision, 24 hour kitchen. Let's go cook it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, catch and cook. Yeah, catch and cook. Catch and cook, catch and cook, <laughs> catch and cook. Look at that. And James has just given me a demonstration of some of the stuff that he's using and just restoring for fertilizations for, for just for... like grass trimmings cuttings any old branches any waste from the garden gets turned into compost to do that i got these two compost boxes that i filled with um just grass cuttings and this is this is the oldest one so this is the most almost this is almost ready to be put out you can just see look at that dark rich color and if we dig into it you're going to see loads of bugs and insects and worms and stuff and that is exactly what you want in a good compost okay so that is what this will become so we'll move this over yeah. the, the reason why i put cardboard on it is because it just keeps it it keeps the warmth in okay so in about i don't know three months time this will turn into that you can see it's still really green at the moment okay and it hasn't quite broken down so it will just naturally oh it just rots down like compost yeah okay and then that then goes over here to the vegetable patch and it kind of just 
it kind of replenishes those nutrients within the veg patch. And yeah, I've got this mesh on to stop the chickens eating it. Okay, and this is your natural fertilizations. Min like just, just, just. It's just compost, yeah, yeah. It's good for all the plants. So do you ever use any of the nettles for, for, for like nitrogen, for, for boost or anything like that? So when I'm doing weeding, this place needs a good weed as well, because there's yeah. nettles everywhere. They all go in as well, yeah, all the nettles. Wicked, wicked. Yes, people, I'm here with Bushcraft. Make sure you subscribe. His is, is, is link is going across on the bio right now, people, so make sure you subscribe to Bushcraft. Yeah, you know what time it is. We're going to be getting up to some madness right now, we people. Yeah, we yeah. are, yeah. We're out in the countryside. Have a look. Yeah, man, outside. Yes, everyone, you know what time it is, man. I'm out here. Big up yourself and respect. And if you like what you see right now, subscribe everybody yeah because you know it's a 24 hour kitchen and we're outside yeah man i come link bushcraft today you know say bushcraft deals with primitive lifestyle and living so yeah man over the weekend here we're going to be doing quite a few things but this video here i hope you enjoyed this video here everyone yeah and it's a quick introduction to, to what's gonna be happening over the next over the next couple of days, me and Bushcraft. Yeah man, I'm just here right now and he's got some chickens there in the garden. He says that these chickens lay about two eggs each per day, which is a good vibe. You get me? You can just be at home and you know and say, yeah, yeah, I collect some eggs daily. Yeah man, and let me show you what I go on people. Because these these chickens are very friendly as well. Have a look. Yeah man. These are the crabs we're after. Yeah. Once, so I have to snorkel. When I see them, I'll dive down. I'll pick it up. This is where the magic happens. Had a bit of a late night last night, and we made a made a lobster pot. So using a shopping basket, making a lobster pot. So the lobsters go in, and then they get stuck in there. Yeah, made loads of stuff. So you see that, people. I use the shopping bus in, in the shopping trolley and James uses the in the shopping basket. This is what I was telling you about. Yeah. A primitive needle. So this is what people would make thousands of years ago. And it's made from a bone, a, the leg bone from a deer. Okay. And I've shaved it down with a sharp piece of flint and some stone. Yeah. To create this and I've used a little sharp piece of flint to drill the hole as well. Yeah. But back in the day, this is what people sew deer hides together with to create clothing. Any type of clothing, because carpets, obviously it's yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need something that's very thick and durable. See how strong that is? Yeah, yeah, for real. And sharp as well. And sharp as very, well, yeah. Very sharp. So what's going on here, James? This is a pizza oven. I'm just setting up, setting up the pizza oven. And tonight we're going to do fresh pizzas, wood-fired pizzas. Wicked. Right, look at that, everyone. It's a vibe. So you know, say so yeah, we're going to be making some pizzas tonight. Proper pizzas. Yeah, man, it's a good vibes, people. Yeah, if you like this one subscribe to this one people yeah and don't forget to subscribe all on bushcraft as well oh yeah man I look james we're taking these bad boys out yeah for a little ride people oh yeah There's five gears, but we're gonna put in three to begin with. Yeah. Right, we're, let's go. we're taking the bikes for a ride, everyone. Yeah, man, good vibes. Yeah, man, it's a mad move out on a bike, people. Yeah, man, down in the country, people. Yeah, man, Bushcraft is down there on the other side waiting for me. Yep. Yeah, good vibes. What, 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 what are these? Um, wheat. Yeah. Some wheat people, wheat grass, look at that. Just have to stop on the bike people, yeah, just to show you guys a beautiful view car, you know, say so, yeah, we're in England and yeah man, our good vibes people. Let me zoom in a little bit. 
just so that you can see the cattles them on the hill people yeah 24 hour kitchen cooking his wings over some people yeah yeah man they're good bag we're outside we're just taking the um me and bushcraft we're just taking a ride through the country then yeah man back on my journey again people 24 hour kitchen look at that look at that and look this one here looks like it's coming towards me to come and greet me yeah man, blessed, 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 blessed. We've got the great cows, them here people. Yeah man, we got good vibes, 24 hour kitchen. Look at that one there, boy. It gives me the serious look. Say what I've gone to the YouTube in the whole world. Look, it's actually taking a leap. Oh my day. Mad move, the cow come and see man and take a leap. All right, we're gone again. Everyone has this. Had to stop for this one as well. So we've got a little pheasant here. Um, James says that it's a female. Yeah man, a good vibe. It's everyone there, a bit in the distance, but we've got some sheep here as well. Let me zoom in. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, man, people, so everybody's always eating lamb. There it is today, Wimbo showing you some lamb. Yeah, man, look at that one there, just staring. Alright. We've got some young ones there in the distance as well. Man. Yeah, we got James there chilling out on the bike. Yeah, man. Right, I'm gonna jump back on people. Back on the journey again. Yeah. Had to pull up on this one, boy. So what we got there in the distance, there, James? We've got a few sheep. Uh, sheep? What am I talking about? Yeah. We've got deer. Deer, like a Bambi, yeah? Like Bambi, there's about five or six of them. I see them every day. There's normally more, actually. So we've got one, two, three, four, we've got five of them on there. So they're basically coming from them, them woods. Yeah, they just live wild in that woodland and so, all the so way over there. No, no one actually owns them, right? No, no one owns those deer. They're wild animals. Okay, do people hunt them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good vibe. So you see the um, you see the bones that you showed me earlier. Yeah, that's it's made the... from the leg from one of those, a primitive tool. Okay. I just try to sort of uh, do like a replica of what people used to do back in the day. Yeah, as you can see in the distance on the hills there, we've got some wild deer. Yeah, man, a good vibe. So yeah, James, let's get back on the journey then because we're out here. We're just out in. Where, where are we at the moment, James? We're in Somerset. Somerset. Alright people, so yeah man, good ride. Yeah man, <laughs> yeah that ride was good. Yes people, so um, James just gave me a little tour in the little village there. Yeah man, in Somerset, I'm in Somerset people, so I'm just in James's garden right now. Alright, so yeah, let's come back and say why well, I'm going to the chicken them again. You think a joke? Yeah man, I'm just out in the garden, Somerset, good vibes. James just gave me a little ride around around the village. Yeah, man, I enjoyed it still. So people, look, James has got chickens in his garden. So these are good vibes. So what's going to be happening tonight, people, yeah? We're going to be making pizza tonight. So these are good vibes. So just stay tuned, people, yeah? Next thing we're going to show you in a minute. Right, so we just made the pizza dough by adding water, yeast, sugar, flour, salt, olive oil, and mixed herbs. And then we've thrown it into a bread mixer or a dough mixer. And in, in one and a half hours time, that dough should be ready. We'll roll it out, make pizzas, fire them up. A bit of mozzarella for the pizza. Yeah, 
Yeah, so James just picked me some peppermint. So we're gonna just have some peppermint tea, good vibes. Yeah, man. Nice, nice and strong. Thank you. What's going on now, James? Um, well, we're going to take this dough out. Look at that, light and fluffy. Just spread a bit of this out on the table. So that's some flour that we've got on the table, yeah? Yeah, it just stops it sticking. And we've got all our ingredients here, everyone. All right, people, so we've got bushcraft and we've got 24-hour kitchen in the kitchen, people. <laughs> yeah. You know what time it is. Yeah, man, it's a vibe. So we've got some pizza dough here. Yeah, man, so we're going to get busy right now, everyone. Yeah, man. So yeah, we've got different styles of pizza that we're gonna make today. So we've, been, we've got some olives, we've got tomato, we've got mozzarella there, we've got our tomato spread here, we've got onions, red onions, we've got red peppers, we've got um, the anchovies here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah anchovies, that's chorizo. Chorizo, and then we also got some cheese as well. Yeah man, anchovies here, yeah? good vibes. James is just um, putting the dough, final touches. A little bit sticky, there's a little bit more flour. There you go, much better, look at that. Yeah. You know it's good dough when, it, when you stretch it and it wants to pull back on itself. So we're getting a pull back here, yeah? It's better, right. than, better than a pushback. <laughs> So we're going to leave this for about another 15 minutes. And just let it sit? Yeah. Just like, it, will, it will then improve again, it will go a little bit bigger. And then we're going to cut it down into like four pieces, to make four pieces. Nice. So what do you want tea towel here, James? So I'm just putting got a nice fresh tea towel at the drawer. Yeah. Putting a bit of water on it just to make it a little bit moist. And then that's going to go over on top of this. I'm gonna leave that there for about 15 minutes. All right, let's go. Look at that everyone, so we can see that our dough's gotten a bit bigger now, it's risen, ready, pizza time. So James, what's going on now? Well, I split these down into four bits. You can see again, look at it, when you stretch it, it pulls, like, it, it stretches back. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna, so I've got four of these. I'm just gonna roll it out. So you made four little balls? Four little balls, yeah. Because they're a little bit sticky, I've just had to put a bit more flour on them. Yeah. And then I'm always making sure this is well floured. Your surface? Yeah. All right, guys, as you can see, we're making pizza today. Ingredients. Yeah, man, good vibes. And you'll see the weight of it, it's actually making it a bit bigger. And then you can go in. I mean, we're only making small pizzas. Probably only about that big. Okay. Just making small pieces. Just pulling it out a bit on the edge. Cool. Right, what should we start with? Oh, this. The base. Base. Remember, pizzas don't have to be round. You hear that, guys? Pizzas don't have to be round, but try and know that it's going to taste just like that. few onions on it. So yeah, it's a good vibe. So as you can see that we're using some red onions and we're just using some mozzarella. So it's a good vibe. So yeah, man, we're getting some mozzarella on there, people, yeah? 
24 hour kitchen cooking with Ringo Vision and you know say we're here with Bushcraft so Bushcraft for <laughs> Ringo Vision in the kitchen and I think a joke alright so look he's got his hands at work people yeah busy hands busy hands busy right. hands so look I've never made a pizza on the channel people so I think everybody should say thank you to James right now because James is the first person to actually be making a pizza on the channel. So James, big up yourself because well, that's, we, we ain't it's had a privilege. A, yeah, we ain't had a pizza on the channel before, ever. <laughs> and I like the way it's looking as well, you know. It's got the colours just like how I do it. What's this one, James? So we've got some Italian herbs. You see that people so just over the top. James is finishing it off with something. And you see, you just you don't want too many ingredients. You don't want to overfill your pizza. Because um, they're going to cook really quick, so you just want to make it basic. Yeah. A few ingredients. Nice one. So, this one's a simple one. It's a vegetarian one, people, as you can see. So, we've got cheese, mozzarella, red peppers. We've also got some olives as well, people. And we've also got the red onion. A good vibes. This pizza here looks like it's got a love heart. Like, yeah. <laughs> so look, 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 as you can see, look, look at the little shape. It's going round. Yeah. So I'm mad move people. So you know, so James is putting a lot of love into this pizza, people. Yeah. So yeah, man, are good vibes. But outside, yeah, man. So you have to put flour on the. On this, yeah. What, what's, what, what do you call this one? It's called a pizza peel. A pizza peel, everyone. Yeah. I didn't actually know the name of it. The car James just slides it on just simple, like a professional. Just yeah, man. Okay, let's go. Ready? Yep. So now I'm gonna just give it a little turn. Bad boy things. Bad boy So guys, we're gonna take our pizza out of the oven right now. Yeah, man, go back. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Amazing. Yes, people. So we got our mozzarella cheese pizza. Ooh. Yeah, man, so look at that. And what's that we're putting on top, James? Fresh rocket. Fresh rocket. Yeah, give it a nice little peppery taste to it. Yeah. Nice. Look at that, people. Look at that dough. It's gone like really, really airy, you know? Lovely. Cooked all the way through. Look at that. I'm gonna take a nice piece, everyone. So, yeah. It'll be hot. Mmm. Hot and nice. Juicy. Cheesy. And. Mmm. Ten ten. So, as you can see, people here, yeah, today. We made the pizza from start to finish. James has got the um, the bread oven that we done. Yeah, you can chase, you can taste the um, the olive. Ooh. Yeah, the olive has been heated up a bit and because you see this pizza oven, people. It's not like one of them ones that you're cooking this thing in your oven at home for like half an hour or twenty minutes. No, this is a one minute and thirty-five seconds quick things fast you get me we might have to wait for the dough like an hour and a half but the actual pizza itself it's amazing how quick it's done a minute and 30 seconds look at that cheese look at that cheese mm. love it so good yes people so this was a Bush craft pizza car. It's a proper craft works, you know. And it takes a proper craftsman to make a pizza like this. 
All right, everyone. So as you can see, James just made a pizza. So my turn now. So our good vibes, people. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to formulate everything right now, people. So first time I'm making a pizza on the program, everyone. So just have a look. Just bear with me. Just keep spreading like this, yeah? Yeah. Get a finger thing, yeah? Yeah, you just have to stretch it out. Edges, but we're just gonna get. I think, I think, that, I think that's good. Yep. Yeah. Get peppers. You know, I like my peppers. Bit of chopped tomato. Yes, people, as you can see, yeah, man, I just make a pizza. I'm a tinker joke. And me and James are in the kitchen, so I just have to make a quick pizza, people. So I have a quick look. Oven, quick and fast, and then you're gonna see guys. So one minute and thirty seconds now. You see, say it take me almost one hour to, to to design it. It's gonna take one minute thirty seconds to cook it. Cause the fire's piping hot. Right, let's go. Yeah. So right now, James is just out here getting the oven blazing because we need to get the right temperature. Gotta get, gotta get it really hot so that we can get this one minute and thirty second job going to bake this pizza. Yeah, man. Like a Luigi. <laughs> so look at that, guys. We've got a pizza. Again, 24 hour kitchen and bushcraft. We've been in the kitchen, people. Yeah, man, we've got another, another amazing thing coming out of the kitchen, people. Yeah, man, it's our good vibes. Yes, everyone, as you can see, look, it's got a bit of um, chili infused olive oil. Add a bit of that on my pizza. Nice. So, if you enjoyed this episode, everyone, could you kindly subscribe, leave a comment, and don't forget to share the channel, people, yeah? And big up Bushcraft for inviting me down as well, people, yeah? That's a good one. James, did you say you like this one, yeah? It's been a pleasure. Yeah, man. And yeah, it's the first time we had pizza on the program, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to have the last bite for you guys, everyone, yeah? Mm. Mm. Everyone comment what your favourite pizza is. Comment below. Yeah. Comment below what your favourite pizza is. Let me know. Thank you, everyone. Bless up.